you can be good at it, which is the biggest thing that's taught us in ceramics, I think, for sure. Because um, we didn't study ceramics at all, but because we, I think, um, our, our whole thing is to sort of trust our intuition, and if we have an idea that makes us feel really good or excited, um, we decide to explore it, whether or not it's, um, uh, it, it's scary to explore it. So we um, we just decided that we wanted to make ceramic. We set up a, a studio for ourselves and did it with as much knowledge as all of you guys have right now. And in two years, uh, it became something because we just kept trying. Uh, so I think that's a really good um, it's a really good thing to remember and to to always think about um, because it's uh, it's sort of how we operate with every everything that we've ever done, right? Ceramics, in a lot of ways, is a good sort of uh, like analogy for life. Uh, there's a lot of rules. There's lots of things you're not supposed to do with ceramics, and you can find that sometimes those rules are there for a reason. But there's also a lot of things that people just do out of practice or because they've been told to do so since they're very young. Um, if you sort of try to break those ideas in some ways, find what works for you, and in general, just you can do whatever you want inside of a medium. And it's just a perfect analogy for the way it works in life as well. That you can have everything in front of you um, with very little. And you can do so much um, as long as you just allow yourself to think in a different way and to think strategically and to think about everything in life all the time. Because everything is worth giving an attention. So, so ceramics is something that we made happen for ourselves out of just out of being, you know, students of the material and understanding that it had a lot to teach us for sure. Mm -hmm. so. And ceramics is 